Got some pretty exciting news. Your boy got a dog. Today's video, I'm gonna get straight into it. So I got myself a dog, and by the thumbnail, you obviously know what kind of dog I got. It is a Siberian Husky. He is 10 weeks old as of, I think, the other day. He was born on July 18th, 2019, and I decided to name him Caleb. So his original name was Owen, and I decided to kind of change it, because I was just like, you know, Owen is the name of the main character from all the sight films, and I was just like, you know what, I can't do this. So, I decided to name him Caleb. He is just the cutest little puppy ever. I know that he's gonna, um, he's gonna be with me for the long haul and see where, you know, life takes us next. Of all times to be able to get a, a dog, I decided now is the best time because if I got a dog when I moved back out, it's gonna be a little rough for me because I'm gonna be handling a new place to be living, um, still be doing schoolwork and Starbucks and being able to raise a newborn pup would be kind of, you know, a lot of stress and I don't know how to exactly train a dog. Thankfully, you know, I'm living here right now. So I'm capable of living in a very well tight household where my both my parents are actually ex uh, dog handlers. So they know how to train dogs. We've had several dogs before and they've trained all of them and they're very well behaved. So I thought it'd be best to be able to get the dog now so that they can help me be able to, you know, train him as he grows up. That being said, I decided to go ahead and get myself a dog. I decided the whole point of me being able to get a dog is that I've been kind of going through some things, you know, off offline and everything that I, you know, I don't talk about. And I thought that the best way for me to be able to cope with everything is to be able to get myself a new little buddy. Me getting a dog will be able to keep me occupied in my spare time, be able to learn more things about myself, to be able to manage a newborn puppy. It is a lot of responsibility and I knew that going into the, the whole process. So I was like, you know, this is something new that I can take on. So I lucked out and got, you know, Caleb. He has this funny little RBF resting bitch face and he looks like he just could give a shit you know let's go ahead and show him da, da, da. everybody meet caleb say hey caleb <laughs> he's the cutest little guy what's your foot doing oh my goodness so this is caleb everybody he's camera shy right now just look at his little fluff ball he's the cutest why is your foot so yellow? So yeah, Caleb, he's looking at the screen right now because he sees himself on there and he's just like, what is that? What is that? That's you right there, isn't it? Say hello to the camera, little man. He honestly looks like a stuffed doll. I had a couple people think that he actually wasn't real, but he's as real as he gets. So he's my little cub. I'm a father now, everybody. He's got his Uncle Fraser upstairs, Psycho Dog. I'm so thankful to have this little baby. Believe me, he loves me. Ain't that right, little man? So the story behind getting Caleb, the other day on Wednesday, the 25th, I drove all the way up to Pennsylvania. Caleb um, was on this Amish farm. They were very kind people. He had six other brothers and sisters. It was the cutest out of all of them, and I found him online on this um, breeder website. Ain't that right, little man? The funny thing is that my dad had no idea that I actually got him yet. So an entire night, Caleb, was here, my dad had no idea that I actually got Caleb yet because I was gonna surprise him and he thought that we were getting him on the weekend and I just decided to go on, you know, go ahead and get him. He's been, it's been a handful, but you know, such as having a newborn little baby puppy and life. Alrighty, say goodbye Caleb. That's it for today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Alrighty, now you gotta, you gotta tell him goodbye. You gotta tell him goodbye. Wolf.